Hi guys, in the today's news update we want to talk about erectile dysfunction and diabetes and a new study that's come out and the history of ED and diabetes is that diabetes is rampant and ED is highly associated with it. This new study confirms that and gives some other statistics that are kind of disheartening. This is Arnold Broad at Healthy at 60 Plus. If you have any questions about this video or any of the videos on my channel, just give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790. If you'd rather just leave me a question, you can do that in the comments section below this video. Let's see what we have today. Diabetes and pre-diabetes are becoming epidemic in the United States. I mean, it's just catastrophic. And as the rest of the world catches up with the U.S. lifestyle, they too will have this problem. And for men with diabetes, the incidence of ED is very high. A new study was conducted on diabetes and ED, and the results aren't encouraging at all. What I'm going to do is give you a quick summary of the study, and then not characteristic to what I usually do is give you some slides at the end that really go into the study and I'm not going to read them I'm just going to put them up there and you can take a look at them. The rate of men with ED and diabetes who have had diabetes longer than five years exceeds 65 percent. Now what you have to understand is that the younger men who have had diabetes longer than five years have lower rates. The older men over 60, over 70 have much higher rates. So that 65% is an average, but it can scale pretty high. Now, when you combine diabetes with high blood pressure, which is very common, cigarette smoking and what they call excessive drinking, but excessive is different for different people, the rate of ED climbs to greater than 90%. 90%, that's almost everybody. And in this particular study, 98% of the men were not seeking treatment for their ED. They either thought that there was nothing they could do about it, or they were embarrassed, or whatever. But So this, this screen that you're looking at is, is pretty stark. If you have had diabetes for greater than five years, your chance on average of having ED is 65%. If you combine it with high blood pressure and cigarette smoking, greater than 90%, and most people, most guys aren't doing anything about it. Since you're watching this video, you're obviously not one of the 98, part of the 98% guys because you're doing something about it. You're at least researching some information. One of the best things yet you can do for the damage done by diabetes, which leads to erectile dysfunction, is something called nitric oxide therapy. Now I've left the link below this video and in the comments section to take you to another video about nitric oxide therapy that really explains it and you really get to understand what's going on and how we can repair the damages that have been done. Now the next several slides, I'm not going to read them. I'm just going to put them up there. You can pause the video and, and read them, but you can read actual some study results. I don't usually put in study results because they get a little dry and boring, but these are pretty, pretty amazing. So let's take a look at them. I'll leave the screen up there for three or four or five seconds, and then you, you just pause the video if you want to read that part of it. Okay, so here goes. So as I said, nitric oxide therapy is 
the way to go. It's what I use. Very natural process to help with high blood pressure, complications of diabetes and high blood sugar issues and for diabetes, for erectile dysfunction. So if you have any questions about this video, about the nitric oxide video that I talked about and left the links to below this video and in the comment section below this video, just give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790 or leave a question in the comment section below this video. I want to thank you for stopping by today and watching this video. Have a great day and here's to your good health.